Contact has been one of my favorite plugins for years just because of the quality of the sounds when it comes to the libraries and then the things you could do with layering and all of that. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about Contact 7 and why it is a great upgrade. Before we dive too deep into it, obviously you see the visual difference right here. This is the browser, but we will get to this in one second. I want to take the time to tell you guys to take advantage of the settings. Take the time to actually go through the settings. Make sure it works best for your workflow. For me personally, when I use Contact, I like to build a lot of layers with different sounds from different libraries. So one thing that's very important to me is MIDI channel assignment and it's automatically set to assign to first free. I put mine set to Omni, so that way, no matter what I throw on here, they will play across the keyboard, or when I'm using my machine like I'm doing now, it will play across the pads, and I will not have to go back and set that. So, the browser now is new, and it looks like the new native access. I like the way this looks. You have all the artwork from your libraries right here on this side, and it tells you how many presets are in it, and we're gonna focus on the new Contact Factory library for this video. You can drag around and resize this how you want it by this little arrow right here. Make it as small as you want, as big as you want, however you want it. I'm gonna leave mine like this for this video. When you click on a library, the browser changes as you see. Certain things are highlighted, that's because those categories or sound types are inside of that library. You can switch over to character, and as you see, we have those highlighted as well. And then over here, you can go to your banks, and those are just pretty much your categories, the type of sound it is, and things of that nature. So now that we have all of our Contact 7 factory library presets over here, Contact 7 now has previews. So you could click. And now you hear what you're getting before even needing to load up the library, which is great because some of these libraries may take a few seconds to load. And then, you know, when you're loading and trying to go through sounds just to see what's there. That kind of slows you down. Now you don't have to worry about that. You can click. Hopefully that didn't mess up your ear. Hopefully you can just click and now you can hear everything right then and there. So I'm going to load up one of these sounds. I think I'm going to go to a piano slash key sound and let's see. I'm gonna pull up the electric grand, or I might just go to the grand. And I'm a favorite, that's the other thing you have. You have your favorites, you can go through and check your favorites and all of that right there, and then your user stuff. So let's double click that. And as you see, it is now loaded up. I'm using my machine, I'll play a couple chords so you guys can hear it. What you can do from here, if you want the classic look of contact, Click right here and now your libraries are back on the side, but you have to go through the old tedious way of dropping it over there, loading it up before you even get to hear the preview. So we're going to turn that back off. My MIDI channel is set to Omni, as I mentioned before, because I will be doing some layering in this video. One thing I want to point out right here, click this right here is where you can get your info. That's very helpful if you're new to using contact and you'll go up here and it'll explain exactly what everything is about. If you want the keyboard down there to show you how everything is mapped out, you can do that. And then quick load is if you have some stuff set to quick load. I'm gonna put this back though. And now this is important if you want to make layers, click here, go to new instrument. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that way this will not get erased. When you're in this mode and you're trying to go back to the browser, and add stuff it will automatically replace what's here so i'll give you an example of that let's change this size real quick and i'm going to change this to back to this i'm going to change to ragtime so as you see it replaced what i had there now that i created a new instrument you can navigate over here to where your new instrument is now keep in mind i switched to the ragtime i'm going to find a pad real quick so let's drop this on there and now once it loads and like that i made a layer now if i wanted to i could sit here and just save it say the multi as and then i'll be able to load it later on like for example i made one here it is right here i'm going to load it up and just let you guys hear what i made so yeah that's the layer you can make you can change 
how it is mixed and everything right here. Here's your levels, here's your pads, and it automatically loaded up in the old way. And right here, I can just go back and forth. And then if you don't want to show all of that, you can just go like that and then you have it like a rack and then you just mix it that way. But I like it like this. Now, if you would like to build your layers without having to go through and select new instrument, this is the way to do it right here. You can do it in the vertical and by that, you just leave it like this, go back to the browser, and this time I'm gonna pull something out of a different library. Let's go to Ignition Keys real quick. Drop that on there. Now, everything should be lined up and it's all in Omni, so. And there you have it you built a layer now to erase some of these you just hit the x next to it i'm gonna erase all of them i know some of you may want to have it where it automatically replaces what you have that's where you need to go back to this mode at least for me that's what i think it is you have it because this is automatically focused on this instrument and you just go right here i'm gonna change it to the chill vibe And it already changed it so now i'm gonna show you guys how you can map your individual instruments to go across different keys so it's not all the way across your keyboard so if you wanted to play two different instruments at one time we could do that as well now you could do this without it being in rack view but i'm going to do it in rack view just because that's how i want to do it so you click here for the settings and this is that little pad sound and right here where your key range is and they also have velocity range, but I'm going to use the key range and I'm going to change it to, let's just say, I want this to be C1. Drag it down, C1 through C3. Okay, got that there. Now you go here and I want this one to be C3 through i'll leave it how it is g8 so since these are on the same midi channel and everything i'm gonna pull up the keyboard so you can see what i'm playing as you see it's only playing this sound right here it's not playing the piano but once i go up octave <laughs> i know that sound crazy but let's see So yeah, you could do that with multiple instruments. So it's a lot that you can do with this. So now what I'm gonna show you guys is some of these new sounds that come with the Contact Factory Library and the fact that they have chords, play modes, not all of them, but each one has something unique about it. And that is due to when you go over here, you can see that each bank has something unique. So for example, with the vintage one, this is what it looks like. And then you could play, let's turn the chords real quick. Turn the glide on. And that's cool. It's different things you could do if you're into that. You can go through here. They already have effects that you can mess around with. And then over here, you can do like I showed you guys where you change the range on the keyboard down here. You can just change it on here. So that way you will not have to go through the settings that way. But the majority of contact libraries from Native Instruments have that. But the ones, there are some out there that do not have this little symbol where you can do it. So you have to go through up here and do it. This is what acoustics look like. I'm gonna turn my release up. Turn the noise down. So I'm telling you, these are 
good. I think I'm going to do a whole video making the beat using the new contact library just to show you guys what you can do with it. <laughs> So that's the saxophone, so that's what the band looks like. Let's see what another one looks like. Yes, I would like to replace. Let's see what we get. So you have all of these sounds down here when you go down the octave and I'm using my machine so it's all laid out so that's pretty cool and up here are pre-made patterns so somebody actually asked if I think they would add something like this and this looks like this is it let's see real quick I'm on this pad. Let's see if I could change it. So this is picking different grooves, but using the same thing. So that is beats. Let's look at choirs, see what they look like. Let's see what we got here. So they also have chord options here. Let's see what those sound like. And this is where you change the vowel. Turn the dynamic up a little bit. More effects. Change some of your settings. I can make a whole little uh, score with that. That's pretty cool. So it's tons of stuff here for you to go through. And just you already seen synth when I was using it. You already saw vintage. It's tons of tons and tons of things here for you to take advantage of. And I'm really enjoying Contact 7. This, this actually may be my favorite plugin right now. I'm not going to lie to you just because... The fact that now they have previews, I feel like that was slowing stuff down before and just being able to do your own thing. And I like the layout. I like the new instruments that come with it. And yeah, if you want to check this out, click that link in the description. I will put a new link out once it is updated by itself. But for now, it is going to be to complete. You can click on it, take you there. And I appreciate you guys for supporting me. I appreciate you guys for just supporting the channel. Thank you to Native Instruments and Mick Benjamins. And if you just want to see an overview of this and also that choir Omnia, click this video right here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm going to make a beat using these sounds.